coming up next, we were in our Flash Fire Friday, so we look back at the 1995 classic film Friday on this Saturday, January 6, 2018. We say hello everyone on this Friday, December 28, 2017. Welcome to the Weekly Word. Today's segment is a throwback 37 on the cast of Friday. You might remember, might not remember, it's a 1985 film starring Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. Where are they now? What have they been up to? What have they been doing? What's good with them? Before we get into all that, let's take a look back at a classic scene from this classic movie. I tell you one thing, around here, you gonna work, you go to school. The first of the month, you rent is due. If you ain't got nothing on the table, you ain't gotta worry about catching a dog. You gotta worry about a dog catching your ass. The Weekly Word official has a Patreon. If you support the content on this show, please consider pledging money to the show at www.patreon.com slash weekly word. Ice Cube has come a long way since his early acting days in the 90s. In the past 20 years, he started several blockbuster films, including Boot Barbershop, Right Along, and the Friday franchises. The rapper actor was also a TV star on TBS's Are We There Yet for three seasons. Up next for the Megastars release of the NWA biopic Straight Outta Compton in August 2015, of which he's a producer. His son, Oshie Jackson, will be starring him. Ice Cube will also be starring in the sequel in Right Along. We last saw Tucker on the big screen of 2012 Similani's Playbook. It's rumored that Tucker will reprise his role in a fourth installment of Friday, reportedly to be out last Friday. He said that another of his big movies, the fourth installment of Rush Hour, was close to coming together. I think it's going to happen, he said, really close to making something happen. That would be a good thing. Not a good thing. Last year, reports surfaced of Tucker's $14 million tax woes. Need we say more than bye, Felicia? It seems as everyone, including Keith Oberman, has been saying this in the past year. Her latest on-screen work was in 2008 movie TV, Customer Service Sucks. She co-starred Nickelodeon's cousin Skeeter in the late 1990s, early 2000s. Mean son Brad Kaya currently plays football for the University of Miami. She also opened up her own vegan restaurant. I will put that link in the description box below to give you more information about that. Hosford was most recently seen in an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. In 2013, she appeared on Tyler Perry's Medea's Christmas. Over the years, she started over on several TV series, including The Wayne Brothers, The Shield, and Be Read Between the Lines. This year, she will co-star in The Choir Director. And this, again, was back in 2015. Johnson has continued to work in Hollywood since his role on Friday. You might remember him in a small role in Q, a modern version of Shakespeare's Othello starring Mike. Becky Pfeiffer and Julia Stylus back in 2001. Navarro has had steady work in Hollywood since Friday, but probably best known for his recurring role as Morales on NBC's long-running series ER. Navarro has spent several has several films in production, including North by El Norre as a producer, Chase and Grace, and of sentimental value. For much of his time in Hollywood, he has also flexed his directional skills and even directed Friday, co-starring Tommy Tiny Lister in the 2015 movie American Justice. DJ Poole wrote and directed the upcoming film Crow House, in which Phase on Love is set to appear. In 2011, he was a writer for End the Flow with Ifeon Crockett. Witherspoon has recently has nearly 40 years under his belt in Hollywood. Most recently, he co-starred in Adult Sons Black Jesus and reprised his role as the voice of Grandpa in the Boondocks. Earlier this year, he said in an interview with This Is 50 that there wouldn't be a Fort of Friday because Chris Tucker, for guaranteed last check out his cooking show on YouTube. Bradley hasn't acted much since her role as Miss Parker on Friday, but for 10 years, she was a model on The Price is Right up until 2000. In 2013, she told Friday fans to boycott the fourth installment of the film because she wouldn't be in it. She's hip to social media, and you can follow her on Instagram. She's looking, guess, hashtag, hey, Miss Parker. Gray and Ice Cube have teamed up again for the upcoming NWA biopic, Shout Out of Compton. Gray didn't go on to direct any of the other Friday films, but is apparently in talks to direct the fourth installment. So this is just a couple of the cast members, and I didn't put all of them in there, so that would be too long. And this is from 2015, so this is the most recent 
this is the this is the most recent of some of the casters I that I could find online. Follow the Weekly Word on its Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages at the Weekly Word Seventeen. And new episode information coming up next. Welcome back. Our next episode of the Weekly Word will be discuss here Flashback Friday segment on the Beatles. Where are they now? What have they been up to? What's good with them? Until then, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I want you to follow us and listen on our Facebook, our Twitter, and our Instagram page, The Weekly Word 17. And also, if you support the content on this channel and you would like to be a patron, please consider being a patron by logging on to www.patreon.com slash for more information. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.